How's it going guys? Uh, in this video I'm just going to be doing a quick run through on replacement of a dual mass flywheel and a clutch kit in a BMW. This is an E90 and this is a 2009 model and the exact model is a 318D. So what was happening the customer was when you lift up off the pedal and uh, there is vibration especially in the lower gears so first and second when you'd be releasing it uh, before it's fully engaged there'd be a heavy vibration then also it was struggling uh, to find gears at times the dual mass flywheel and the clutch needs replacing and what i was going to do i was just going to show you the dual mass flywheel when i was taking it out but i'll just give you an indication of what you need to remove this won't be a step-by-step -step guide by any means but uh, the under shields are all off. There's brackets that needs to be taken out here. All the be bell housing bolts need to be removed. They're all e-torques. Um, you have your slave cylinder. You have your starter. You have your uh, drive shaft and um, mounts here that need to be removed. So you'll have to take out all of them items before you can drop the gearbox back out of position. And that will give you access then. But uh, I said I'd just give you an indication as to what's involved in the job. And I will uh, show you later when I have the box back out of position. And what is happening with that dual mass flywheel and the difference between a new one and uh, the one that's coming out. Just giving an update on this job now. Um, I have the linkages out. I have pretty much all the brackets out. I have the slave cylinder out. All the bell housing bolts along the bottom, I just have to confirm that up at the very top there's none left. I have my transmission jack in position and it is nearly ready to go back. I have the drive shaft disconnected here and moved out of the way. And the linkages are up here, which I also have moved out of position. So all that's left really is to uh, make sure that there's no top bell housing bolt and then pull it back out of the way. If you are doing this job, you're gonna need uh, a lot of extensions half inch drive and 3 8 because it is very tight up around the top side to get the bolts back i have the transmission now backed out it's on our transmission jack here and uh, as you can see there was a bolt at the top so the awkward ones are these ones really so you have one two three four that are, are the most difficult and the one at 12 o'clock being the most difficult out of those so the box is out and we go over here and this is what you see i have most of these hex head bolts taken out already with one remaining up here and this is the clutch uh, plate kit that will be coming down so i'll be taking that out and then i will be also taken off the flywheel the new kit is over here so it's luk is the new one that's going to be going back into it that's the clutch kit and the flywheel i have over here also luk so, and this is the new flywheel all right so next thing to do is take out that clutch and uh, it'll show the dual mass flywheel then so with the clutch kit now taken out if i can zoom in on that we don't have to look too far for problems as you can see here that bearing has completely come asunder you can see that so straight away we have knowledge that this is correct diagnosis and we will rectify the issue with the items that we're putting in today which is always satisfactory now to take out the flywheel you will be looking in here at what is that that looks like torque heads and i'm not sure the size yet i'll get that in a second give you a better view than i have now so it's take out all of those and that will remove the flywheel so i'm going to take them out now and get the flywheel down Just want to show you this area as well <clears throat> i have this all cleaned up so i vacuumed out all of the dust cleaned off the shaft on both sides and i'm getting ready to fit 
uh, the new release bearing onto it. Also, I will be greasing this area, this area, and making sure that everything is nice and smooth and free when it goes back in for install. Okay, so I have the old June Mass flywheel now out on the bench, as you can see, which I showed when I was in the vehicle that it is flogged out there at the bearing. Completely gone there, and the bearing is a new one intact in this uh, new June Mass flywheel, obviously. So the next procedure that I'll be doing is putting this back up into the vehicle. Oh yeah, the, those are T60 torque heads that hold in the flywheel. Um, if I go up to here now, when you're putting it back up in position, just to make sure, uh, see that notch, that's where the flywheel sits into, and that you have a nice clean face. And that is pretty much it. So, Next time you see this, um, it will be all back together pretty much. Uh, this isn't a stage by stage guide. It is just to give you an indication if you have that vibration noise rattle when you uh, are letting off off the clutch, the initial bite, or if you're struggling to find gears in yours, the uh, problem most likely is in the clutch dual mass flywheel area in these BMWs. So this gives you an indication as to what's involved. It also gives you an idea of uh, what you will need to replace. So I'm gonna stick this all back together now and I will check in with you later. I'm just after pulling in, after carrying out a road test and uh, this job is now complete. We have gears uh, functioning as they should with no noise of any kind. So what I was saying earlier is if you just look down here at my boot, when you lift up initially, that is where you might get a vibration or a rattly type of noise, especially in first gear or second gear. So if you're having that complaint, uh, there is a high possibility it's the same as what you've seen in mine. The dual mass flywheel has given problems. Uh, and in this case, it was struggling to get gears at times as well. But that's it, guys. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I have lots of other BMW videos up on my channel, so be sure to check them out. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.